welcome back to Dream Daddy. So, there were three daddies whose good endings I didn't get. That was Robert, Hugo, and Joseph. I didn't get their good endings. So, I've got, I've got papers here that have all the secrets to getting their good endings. So, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna speed through this and I'm gonna get all of their good endings. I'll show you guys that, and I'm also going to, like, for Hugo and Robert, there were two scenes that I missed that, like, would have added to their stories and, like, backstories, and I'm gonna get those, too. I need to. So, this is gonna be quick. There's gonna be little to no gameplay. It's just gonna be everything that you guys missed, everything that I missed. Of course, we have to start with the one that I started with. That would be Joseph. Gotta start from the beginning, don't I? Wow, I do, don't I? Welcome. You've got dads. Zero dates. All right, let's speed right through this. Being the perfect dad. Dad again. But oh, seriously. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Hello. Oh, I forgot how much. Oh. <laughs> Joseph, I love you. We could have been great. Could have been something special. Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Again, my heart's gonna ache if I don't. yourselves guys the sun is setting and everyone seems to have eaten their fill as the party starts to wind down I take a seat next to Joseph Joseph it's so great to see you again <laughs> great party I should have you organize our next youth group mixer my dance skills are ready whenever you need them hey 
If you aren't busy this weekend, I was thinking we could maybe catch a movie or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that sounds like it would be fun. This feels weird. It doesn't feel like it did on the yacht. So, uh, I guess things are still friendly with Mary? Huh. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you about that. Joseph, I hate you so much. Joseph sighs. <sighs> we talked, and we talked for a long time, and there was some yelling and some crying, but ultimately, there was reconciliation. Yeah, recon- I hate you so much, bro. I love you, but I hate you. I'm sorry, Richard. I have to make this work with Mary. Oh! I know. I shouldn't have. I didn't mean to hurt you. And I'm really sorry you got caught up in all this. I've just felt so alone lately. And I'm not even sure I'm doing the right thing here. But you're still doing it, and the marriage has been... Like, it's not healthy for either of you guys. I'm not very sure why you guys are sticking together. You guys have the ability to show the community what a healthy divorce could be like. But no, you're gonna, you're gonna stay with Mary and you're gonna crush my heart. <laughs> You've come to mean so much to me and I'll never forget all of those beautiful moments we shared together, but they ain't happening again, bud. But I have to thank you. In a way, this whole thing with you helped me realize that I still love my wife very much. So, are you telling me I was that bad? Was I really that bad? I was bad enough to help you realize that you love your wife? That's really embarrassing. And also, <sighs> Joseph, that's such bullshit, buddy. can't even have a happy ending. Oh, that's great. Hmm. I know this probably isn't what you wanted to hear, and I'm sorry if you were hoping for something different, but this is where my life is, and I need to do right by my family. But hey, Joseph squeezes my hand. Yeah. We'll always have Margarita Zone. No, we won't. It's gotta be all or nothing, buddy. That's not how it works. Joseph stands up. Eh. Take care, Richard. You too, Joseph. Joseph walks off. I... Man, did I do something wrong? Was there another way this could have ended if I had done things differently? I don't know! That's what you say after all of the bad endings with the other dads, but this is his good ending! This is his good ending and you still get this and there's nothing you could have done to make things end differently! There's... I got all S's. Even with a perfect score, you cannot get a decent good ending with Joseph. I've got feelings about this man. I've got big feelings about this. I walk over to the half-melted remnants of the ice cream cake and shove a forkful into my mouth. This ice cream cake is my new boyfriend. I eat it solemnly underneath the cherry blossom tree. A few petals fall into my cake, but I still eat them. I'm just that sad. The last guests begin to make their way out of the party and Amanda gives me her present. This is so different from all of the other daddies' good endings, and I'm like so disappointed. Like, I just, I expect, like, sure this, this makes sense because real life, you wouldn't have a perfect happy ending, especially being a home wrecker. But the thing is, going into this game, I didn't assume I'd be a home wrecker. I didn't. Yep, that's his pinup. I didn't think that I was gonna be a home wrecker. Usually, when it comes to dating sims, everything is happy and fanciful and screw real life and consequences and things will work out in the end because it's just a feel good genre of game. Dating sims are meant to make you feel good. 
but no. Gotta keep it realistic, especially with the daddy of my choice. Great, thanks. This is Hadful Boyfriend all over again. This is me picking the bad person all over again. Who cares if it's a white Christian or a pigeon who kills people? I always pick the wrong ones. So yeah, that was technically Joseph's quote unquote good ending. Let's get on to Roberts. Sort of heal my soul. <laughs> All right, mini game. The new mini game. You guys might like this. Nice, it's cute. That would. None of the uh, options uh, are determinant of the ending. So you can just do whatever you want here, man. It's a sharp stick. Woo! Also, I like this gradient in the background. Oh, so good. Yeah. It's a tongue depressor. Take it, man. It's very smooth. something to make me look tough. Oh, that's sweet of you. Whoop, 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 go. Do it, do it. Yeah. Uh. I don't know. That's just fine. Personal whittling progress. You can't you tell? You really captured my likeness. I'm impressed. Robert, I guess. Can't you see? Like that's the nose, that's the hair. Okay, okay, yeah. It's an ambidextrous chopstick. Hey. Can't tell me what my creations are and what they aren't. Washington the Brave. Thank you. Aww, yeah, I'll give that to Amanda. She'll love it. Hopefully. I made it myself. Yep, new minigame. That's what that was. Honestly, Loki, so I would... Sad. Oh, Brian. I would Loki totally do that, 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 that dad. Oh. <laughs> Does he even... Is he even considered a dad? I don't know. Go with something I know. You're into that. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Alright, I'm bored. Bye, Mary. I'll miss you. I love you. Hey. Oh. oh my god, did she actually voice that? Don't write checks your dick can't cash. I'm so... You're, you're so great, Mary. I love you. Hey. I just want everyone to be happy. I... Can I just date everyone? Alright, selfies. That was incredible, <laughs> Dr. Loomis. I... All part of the character. We got uh -oh. shirts. Want to have a drink? Mmm, what's the right answer? The right answer is, are you trying to poison me? I know where this goes, small. I know the steps. One second, I'm sipping delicious aged scotch. The next, I'm foaming at the mouth and you've taken over the throne. Hi. Long live the king, baby. I... Sweet, look at your messy house. It's just like mine. Well, the messy part, at least. Robert leads me inside. I can't help but think about what Mary said to me. Robert did seem a little bit off, but that completely disappeared when we were joking around with the ghost tour. I don't know. He's hard to read. While I'm thinking, I hear claws skittering across the floor. Oh god, it's his pit bull. I'm about to be torn to shreds. 
I shut my eyes tight and brace for impact. Betsy, hey, be nice. I don't feel anything but tiny paws scratching at my shoes. I open my eyes. It's Betsy! Betsy? Mm. Robert's dog jumps away from me, running around in circles and sniffing Robert's legs. He pats her on the head. Hey, that's not a pit bull. This is the cutest, dumbest Boston Terrier I've ever seen. Betsy, you're not a pit bull? And you weren't taken by the Dover ghost? Betsy's made of tougher stuff than that, ain't you, girl? Betsy rolls over for some well-deserved belly rubs. Hey. I just keep a picture of a large pit bull in my wallet in case of emergencies. Comedic emergencies. I just noticed, buddy, you've got like... That is a lot of alcohol. Buddy. Robert, are you okay? We make our way to Robert's living room. For a quiet man with arguably the oldest pickup truck that can be legally driven, his place is amazing. There are sleek modern appliances throughout the room with a big flat screen TV mounted on the wall. He has shelves upon shelves of DVDs. Guess he wasn't lying about being really into cinema. He pours us both glasses of whiskey from a well-stocked bar in the corner while Betsy curls up on a pile of cushions. So, how did you really get that scar? And don't tell me you got it fishing for Alaskan king crabs in the Bering Sea or something. You trained me too well. <laughs> Robert laughs and takes a sip of his drink. <clears throat> My daughter and I were riding our bikes. I hit a rock, flew over the handlebars, and then we went to the hospital. And that's it. Hey. Not a very interesting story. I've never heard you talk about your daughter. Well, I have one. Uh -huh. That's her. He points at a picture on the wall of a very serious little girl with dark eyes. Yep, that's definitely Robert's daughter. How old is she? Uh, 25? 26? Not too sure. Does she live around here? Huh? No, Val lives back home in Brooklyn. Works at some new media online magazine thing. Makes buckets, though. Oh. He suddenly seems really serious. I probably shouldn't press him about it. Oh. You like Santana? Yes, I guess. Ah. Great. Robert puts on Santana, then takes a seat on the couch next to me. He suddenly downs his drink in one gulp. Hey, are you alright? So... Robert leans in and kisses me, the taste of whiskey burning my lips. I'm surprised at first, but slowly relax into his arms. He pulls away slightly, his lips barely brushing against my mouth. I am now. I can't say anything, at best managing a sigh. Robert leans in again, kissing me harder. He pulls my bottom lip between his teeth and bites lightly, sliding a hand under my shirt. My heart pounds in my chest as he lies us both down on the couch. He kisses a trail down my neck, his teeth grazing my skin. I... I just... wait. It's not that. Robert bites down and I have to stifle a moan. Stop. Robert stiffens up and pulls away. No biting? No, no, I'm more than okay with that. Something's up. Oh, the music stops. Robert runs a hand through his hair and he looks away. I'm fine. I've just been kind of stressed out. Tired. Not a big deal. You gotta push it. Push it real good! Listen, I want this as badly as you do, but I know something's wrong. I need to make sure that you're okay. Robert stares at the ground. Mm. You don't know me that well, Richard. I'm not... a good person. He takes a deep breath. Mm. I spent my whole life only taking and taking and taking, and now here I am, an old, broken man sitting on top of a pile of everything I've ever taken, alone. But... I want to know you. You don't have to keep hiding behind fake stories and acting like you don't have feelings. I don't know. It's... He sighs heavily. <laughs> it's Val. She's visiting tomorrow. She wants to patch things up. Are you... Uh... I'm sorry, but... 
is this a bit? I, I just need to make sure. You understand my concern. No. When was the last time you saw her? Three, four, I think. Months? <sighs> Years. I sit up straight. Jesus, Robert, what happened between you two? Mm. I don't want to talk about it. Robert and I sit in silence, neither of us wanting to look at each other, both of us unsure of what to do next. Mm -hmm. Fine. Mm -hmm. Things were already bad between us. I cared about her. I always did. Things just got in the way. And before I knew it, she was leaving for college, wanting nothing to do with me. Marilyn and I moved out here to settle down. We thought it would help to get away from all the distractions, all the distractions, all the money, the drinking. But temptation gets to you. I tried to be better, but I just couldn't. And then the accident changed everything. I think every day about how she must have died hating me. I never became the better man that she wanted me to be. The one she always saw in me. She was the last thread Val and I had connecting us together. I didn't know that when I lost my wife, I was going to lose my daughter, too. Robert. I spent so much time chasing after things I thought were going to make me happy that I ruined my only real chance at happiness. Now my wife is dead and my daughter hates me. And then I convinced myself that this... He gestures vaguely in my direction. Thanks, I'm a this. Was going to make me happy. Why do I even try anymore? I'm so sorry. I know how hard it is to... Mm. No, you don't. How could you possibly know how this feels? You did everything right. Your daughter loves you. You're a good person. I was a terrible husband, and I'm an even worse father. I have no idea why she's even bothering to contact me now. I know I'm just going to fuck it up like I always do. I'm broken. I shouldn't even go. Robert puts his head in his hands. You gotta tell him what he needs to hear. Nothing is going to change until you do. Robert pauses. He looks at me. There are a lot of things in my life that I regret, that I wish I could take back or do over, and it hurts so much to know that I can't. But what I can do, and what you have the privilege of doing tomorrow morning, is to wake up and try to be a better person than you were the day before. Things aren't going to fix themselves tomorrow, or the next day, and patching things up with Val isn't going to solve all of your problems either. But nothing is going to change if you don't, and you can't love anyone else until you stop hating yourself. And you're right. I don't know you that well, but you have the same capacity for good that we all have, and I know you can find it. Val is giving you a chance. Don't waste it. But, Robert, listen to me. It's going to be okay. But... I lean over and embrace Robert, pulling him in as tightly as I can. He buries his head into my shoulder, hugging me back. It's gonna be okay. I place a hand on the back of his head and stroke his hair. He shudders, then sobs, and I realize that he's crying. Thank you. We stay there for a while, holding each other. We both eventually drift off to sleep. Mm-hmm. I missed that entire thing the last time I went through Robert's route. Mm. I'm lost in your oceanic eyes. Your oceanic eyes. Oh. Why? I walk over to Mary, who's having a lively conversation with Amanda. Listen, kid. You're gonna need some real-life skills out there if you're gonna make it out on the streets. I'm going to college. Mm. Same thing. Look, I know you're not old enough to drink. Mm. Right? And I know you're smart enough not to drink until you're of legal age. Uh-huh. 
<laughs> but hypothetically, if you were to drink, it'd behoove you to drink a glass of water between rounds. Got it. Ugh. Hypothetically. Mm. And if you wake up with a headache, all you gotta do is mm. take a jar of pickles and drink the pickle juice. You're gonna be fine. What's going on here? Ugh. Girl talk. Mary turns back to Amanda. Ah. Now let me tell you about how to deal with a bad roommate. First thing to know, you get straight A's if they die during the semester. Mary! Ugh. Relax, it's a myth. Hey. Supposedly. Against my better judgment, I leave them be. Whoa, hello! Hmm. I don't think I recognize that girl by the snack table. I should go say hello. Hi, I don't think we've met. Oh, we've met years ago. And I'm here for my revenge. You're Robert's kid, aren't you? Spot on. I guess that makes you Richard, huh? Yep, it's nice to meet you. I'm glad Robert brought you along. He promised there would be free food, so that's kind of hard to pass up. And... Look, I don't know you, but can I get real with you for a sec? My old man's a real closed book, you know? Me and him, we got a long way to go. You don't erase decades of neglect in a week, but you sure can get tired of staying angry about it. That kind of bitterness, it poisons you, I think. I'm too young for that. Anyway, lately he's been better, a lot better. And between him shaving for once and how much he talks about you, I get the feeling you have something to do with it. So, thanks. Robert means a lot to me. I'm glad he's getting better. Just keep an eye on him while I'm not around, okay? Or else. What? I'm kidding. Or am I? I don't know why I'm like this. It's probably a genetic thing. I think it runs in the family. Amanda trots up to the conversation. Mm. Hey, I love your necklace! And your hair! Mm. And just, cheese. your whole vibe is cool. Thanks. I like your jacket. My girlfriend collects pins, too. Oh, this is my daughter, Amanda. Amanda, this is Robert's daughter, Val. Nice meeting you. I heard you're a photographer. Huh. Aspiring photographer. I'm going to school for it. You take pictures? Yes. Hmm? Then you're a photographer. Welcome to the biz. Val hands Amanda a business card. If you're ever looking for internships, shoot me an email. Anyway, I need to go make friends with that woman over there who's dual-wielding wine glasses. Catch you later. Val walks away. She's so cool! She gave me her business card! She touched my hand! Congrats, you just networked for the first time. I'm a regular business lady now. Quarterly projections, stock market, synergy. While you're making a fortune as a businesswoman, I gotta keep this party going. Catch you around, Pops. Ah, nice. Ah. <laughs> Bro. Bro. Mm. Bro. Bro. Ah. Huh. Ah. Oh, hey. Oh. So. She's given me that gift. We're the best family in the world. Here we go. I take a seat next to Robert as the last guests make their way out of the party. I... Hey. Hey. Robert gestures vaguely to the snack table. Good stuff. Yep. So... I had a chance to talk to Val. So. She physically threatened you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's my girl. She said you've been doing better. <sighs> Trying to work on the vices. I also showered today. We sit in silence for a moment. Huh. You know, every day for me is a battle against my own self-destructive habits. But, lately, it's gotten a little easier. Thanks for talking some sense into me. It's hard to get things through my thick skull sometimes, but what you said last night 
has actually helped. I'm glad. Oh? I like you, Richard. I like you a lot. A lot. I haven't felt this way about someone in a long time. I lean in and kiss him for a moment before he pulls away. He takes my hand in his. Hi. You're special to me. Oh? But I have some stuff I need to work on, uh, emotionally, before I can get into anything romantic with you. You deserve better than who I am right now. I need to be on my own for a bit, figure some things out. Of course. I think what you need right now is a friend, and I'm very happy to be that for you. Mm. Thank you. That means a lot to me. And if you're ever ready for more than that, you know where to find me. Mm -hmm. Let's hunt ghosts sometime? I would love that. I put my head on his shoulder, and we watch the sun slowly dip below the horizon together. And that's Robert's good ending. You know, an actual good ending. I'm glad that he's improving, and I love his daughter, and I just... I love Robert. And his pinup is actually super adorable. He's even carving a little wood carving of her himself. Oh, that's so sweet. I love him so much. And like, bro, you think your V-neck could it? You think your V-neck could get any lower? ending I need to get? Hugo. Oh yeah, you're into that. Hey. Hi Matt. Hi guys. Mm. Um. Ask about it. Hugo. Come on, you gotta show me your wrestling room. Ask again. Oh no. Show me your wrestling room. Hugo leads me to his house at the edge of the cul-de-sac. We step inside and his house is exactly what I expected it to be. Neat and filled top to bottom with books and art. Oh. Uh, welcome to my home. Sorry it's so messy. His house is actually spotless. I follow him down a hallway. What are we doing? Hugo opens the door and ushers me inside. It's pitch black. He closes the door behind us. Hugo flips a switch and I finally understand. I understand everything now, Hugo. Curio cabinets packed with inbox wrestling action figures line the walls, along with posters, cardboard cutouts, and every piece of wrestling memorabilia imaginable. A giant widescreen TV sits on a decked out media stand. I'm speechless. I look over at Hugo, who's hovering by the door, doing everything to avoid eye contact. It's okay, baby, I accept you for who you are. I don't know. It's, uh, this is really embarrassing. Uh, 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 this is cool. That's what he's into. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Are you kidding? Look at all of this stuff. This must have taken forever for you to collect. Can I touch this? Go ahead. I pick up one of his replica championship belts and toss it over my shoulder. Do you smell what I am cooking? Hmm? I think the line is, it's meatballs. Sorry, I don't watch a lot of wrestling. I just think it's so cool how passionate you are about this. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah, I, um, I really, really like wrestling. He's blushing so hard right now. Hugo, you bought the wrong kind of pizza rolls again. Ernest, that is no way to talk to your father. Looks like Ernest just got home. He's yelling in from the hallway. I can see Hugo immediately deflate. Hmm. I told you, those pizza rolls have less sodium. I just want you to be healthy, son. Ernest comes into Hugo's wrestling room and looks around with disgust. He notices me and scoffs. I thought nobody was allowed in your precious wrestling room. I never said that. I just said that you're not allowed to take action figures out of their boxes and pose them so that they're having sex with each other. 
Ernest gets flustered. God, you're such a teenager, bro. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm gonna go throw eggs at stuff. Have fun with your stupid wrestling crap. Ernest leaves, then a moment later pops his head back in the room. And your stupid friend. Ernest storms back out of the room. I hear a door slam. Hugo wearily runs his hand through his hair. <sighs> sorry about him. And sorry that I have to keep apologizing about him. He's just going through a phase, I guess. Oh. I try so hard to impress him, but it's obvious that no matter what I do, he hates me. Ernest has a thing about... Ernest has a thing against authority figures, and you don't get much more authoritative than a teacher dad. My ex? He gets to be the fun weekend dad, and I'm just Hugo, who makes Ernest eat his vegetables and turn his homework in on time. Hey, you love him and you're looking out for his best interests. Take it from one dad to another. Someday he'll come to appreciate that. Maybe not someday soon, but someday. I hope so. Oh. Thanks for letting me vent. Hugo glances at his watch. Hey. Suppose it's getting kinda late. Let's do trivia again sometime soon? I would absolutely love to. I start to leave. And hey. Thanks for showing me your wrestling stuff. Maybe you can tell me more. Maybe you can tell me some more about it next time. Hugo smiles. Ah. That would be amazing. I'll catch you around. It only takes me a minute to walk back home. Amanda's sitting on the couch reading a book about female photographers. Wow, I thought you didn't like reading. Hmm. I don't. This book is all pictures. Aww. And even then my patience is being tried. Ugh. Did you get to eat all of the cheese your little heart desired? I am a happy little cheese monster. But I made sure to leave room for dinner. Who wants breakfast for dinner? Yes! Hash browns! Okay. Hey. Toast dipped in egg! All r ha. Blueberry pancakes! Well, only if you'll help me make them. Yeah. You know I'm the world's best blueberry sprinkler. And also totally amazing at heating up the maple syrup in the microwave. Now tell me all about that cheese board. Amanda and I spend the evening cooking an elaborate breakfast with everything we can find inside of the fridge. I tell her all about the trivia, but leave out the parts about Hugo being into wrestling. I figured she would probably find some nefarious way to use that information for a better grade. And perfect score? Looks like Paradise Lost just got found. Mm-hmm. I'm just glad I'm here with you. Don't say hot. Don't say hot. Cool. Mm. Oh, thank you. Ah, you blushes. Hey. Eh. Oh, it's Colin. This is a sneaking mission. It's a way to sneak you under my shirt. Trust me. Trust me. Baby, trust me. I know what I'm talking about. Hey. What are you doing here, Quinn? Richard! Quizmaster! Hey, hey! Who's ready for a crazy graduation party? You, uh... You don't have to be on right now, Quinn. It's just a party. What do you mean? It's the... Uh... You know what? Keep that energy. Hold it close. You deserve it. Just like me and my loving wife deserve happiness, right? You know it. And it's Brian! Yeah. Hey, man. Uh, hey. Thanks for coming by. Hey. Hey! I turn to see Ernest, looking like he has something to say. Hey, Ernest. Uh, thanks for being nice to my dad. Whoa. People are really mean to him sometimes. I mean, I guess I am too. But, uh... He seems happy when you're around, so, uh, that's cool. Well, geez, Ernest, I don't know what to say. You know, I think people got you pegged wrong. You've got a soft side. If you tell anyone I told you that, I'm gonna set your trash can on fire. There it is. Also, you don't know me. 
Before I can respond, Ernest walks away, a cloud of vapor trailing behind him. Well, that was at least a little pleasant. And Amanda gives me a gift because I am the best father! I take a seat next to Hugo as the last guests make their way out of the party. Cool shirt. Oh. Thanks. It reminds me of a special night. That's so sweet of you. So the secret's out, huh? Oh, something else. You know, I was really nervous to come here dressed like this, but everybody in the neighborhood, they were nothing but accepting of me and my hobbies. It turns out that Craig's a huge fan too. And Colin told everyone at school that I'm into wrestling, but it actually backfired on him. The kids have a weird sort of respect for me now. A few of them even asked me to be the sponsor for their wrestling club. Um. Not the Olympic wrestling. The wrestling that I like. I actually like both, but there's an important distinction, and I think you know which one I'm talking about. See? Just goes to show there's nothing wrong with being open about what you like. Hey! I agree, and as long as I'm being open, I'm also a huge fan of very handsome dads who throw great parties for their kid and love a good word jumble. I blush. And I'm a big fan of... Quick, think of something clever. Hugo's? This Hugo, specifically. Hugo laughs. Oh! He drapes an arm around my shoulders and pulls me closer. He plants a soft kiss on my forehead. I'm happy here. Me too. Hugo and I watch the sun dip below the horizon together. Hey, do you think maybe later you could show me some new wrestling moves? Oh! Richard, how about I show you my pump handle pile driver? I can't help but giggle. What's that? Ah. You'll see. Whoa, Hugo. And, yep, that is Hugo's good ending. Hugo's so cute. He's just adorable. I love him. I love all the dads. I'm pretty sure I've said I've loved all of them at least three times before. But, God, I just love them. Look at you with your wine and your meats and cheeses, your cheese boards. Ugh. But yeah, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think that's all of the good endings for all of the daddies. The other four dads, I've gotten their good endings like first try. So, those videos are already up there. This one finished off everything that I needed to do. I think that actually means that I've completed this game. Like, completely completed it. I've actually gotten all the achievements except for one hidden one. I have no idea what it is. I don't know how I'm supposed to get it. So I'm just waiting to see if I can like look it up online, figure out what's going on. I have about 30 hours logged in Dream Daddy, which is impressive. And I do not regret it, not at all. Still, again, I still can't believe this game is over. I'm like so sad. That's all right though. This has been Dream Daddy. If they come out with new content, I will be more than willing to play through Thank you guys for watching.